Hey guys, True Talk BJJ, Bernardo Tavolaro, one more episode over here. Today we have the legend of the sport, <laughs> uh, Leo Vieira. And, uh, man, if you don't know who he is, I'm sorry, you're no wrong sport. You know, there's, there's a handful of people that everybody, it doesn't matter the generation, uh, you guys need to know. You know, and uh, the reason that we brought him here and we're going to talk about the subject and, you know, even though he's a guest, uh, we do things different. I don't like to ask the same questions. The Mark Care fight, this fight, that fight. We talk about different opinions, right? The opinion that I want him from today is the future of the sport, right? Where BJJ is, money, all, all that involved the future and his vision, right? And what I want to explain to you guys, the reason why I brought him here is... He been doing this since the 80s when black belts from jiu-jitsu were ninjas pretty much on the eyes of the people. He went through the phase in Brazil where uh, jiu-jitsu fighters were bad people and then they just fought in the street, on the nightclubs and stuff like that. He competed between many, many generations. He's the guy that fought the most tournaments in the ADCC. So he fought from... Uh, like in Abu Dhabi when it was originally over there he saw it how it was to fighting in London and with the new generation people they're not even doing jiu-jitsu when he was already fighting you know and he went from a student to teaching to only his own to having a team to only having his own team now and he 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 has all this experience so i think he's a an amazing person to be talking to us How's it going, Lo? It's going good. <laughs> so I'm shaking. I don't know. Oh, you scared of the questions? The, cam the camera is uh, working? The uh, camera is <clears throat> working. Okay. So, so that's for yeah. YouTube right there. Yeah. That's for I'm, the future. Like, <laughs> you know, like it's, that's the technology. When I started Jiu-Jitsu, did you have even mats? Like now we have a roll mats, like even dummies watching. Before it was just a... Just, just you guys training. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we barely have a match and the competition starts in the parking lots and now we like we we get it you, you have so many opportunities and so it's nice to 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 see this moment in jiu-jitsu so Lel, what do you what do you think is one of the biggest like different from what you've seen from today to you know, because you made the transition from, like I said, like you started when you were like eight years old, seven years old, and jujitsu were just like strictly pretty much self defense. Nobody had that vision. I don't know if nobody had it, but it, was the, it wasn't a vision of like, hey, I'm going to survive out of jujitsu fighting, right? Mm -hmm. Now I think the new generation they see as in, hey, even more of the super fights, people think it's like, yeah, I'm going to make money out of being a fighter, mm -hmm. a jujitsu fighter. Before it was like, Maybe I'll open my gym or things like that, right? Yeah. Uh, of course, like that, I, I think it maybe they had a different perspective. But my perspective and I, when I was a kid was not like we we knew it. Like figured out like soon that we're not doing a sport. It was just like a martial art that was providing self-defense and a way to, to, to protect yourself. So which is helped me to include myself in two different society like you can call yeah. like that because i was i was in in public school uh -huh. and at the same time i was living in the in the nice neighborhood so i have to fit oh, okay. myself in two different two different like uh groups groups okay. so jiu-jitsu helped me a lot with this because as, as a kid and grow up in rio de janeiro so sometimes fighting the street was something that i was you have to expect to stand up for you <clears throat> but Jiu-Jitsu wasn't sport that are uh, giving good reputation. So as a teenager, uh, like, uh, and Jiu-Jitsu was very considered as a bad reputation for the for for everybody, right. and all the social not social media, but all the media was was presenting every, connecting every every crazy situation, every fight on nightclubs. Yeah, uh, through Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, because I remember when I, when I was younger, I did not even have done Jiu-Jitsu before, but 
like Ryan Grace and those guys would be like the pit boys and stuff like that, right? They're yeah, like, they have their petition to have like a pit bull. Some fights was 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 very was that funny. Like some fights was really like from jujitsu. Yeah, but that are cold, you know, and that mm -hmm. was funny because uh, even when this it's that are cold back in the time. Yeah. So when there was really guys from jujitsu fighting, yeah. they would start the fight. But there was coach talking the back. Like next day, the coach mm -hmm. was talking each other yeah. and set up like a, you know, fight in the in, in the academy behind the scenes. Oh, okay. And that is why you can see a lot of like a, uh, footage, video, yeah. footage about that. So, but now you don't have this. You know, mm -hmm. you don't see so many people fighting in the street, of course. But yeah. also like a lot of this code of respect to yeah. protection the martial arts. At the same time, people is doing this because they want to protect the. The martial arts about being a rap, mm. bad reputation. Okay, okay. So, uh, like, so when you, when you started, you pretty, when you saw it, that, that like, did you do you always believe that you had a future on the martial art? As in, it was hard to believe. Do you do you believe it? Like, uh, I can make money out of it because mm. after like after you got your black belt, you moved to São Paulo, right? To Fabio and Fabio took it to São Paulo to help him coach and everything. Yeah, but. What was your vision of jiu-jitsu as at at the time, like until a purple belt? Yeah. Like the 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 jiu-jitsu was not a sport that I considered like, oh, I'm gonna make this for as my lifestyle, and that was gonna make my money worth. It was just okay. like a a sport or a lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know. So when it became a purple belt, that's when I see that opportunities to work. That was some and then later as a brown belt, there was some opportunities as a professional fight with MMA. Yeah. But uh, the whole jiu-jitsu scenario, since I was like kids until purple belt, and I think even like to a brown and black belt, was all the jiu-jitsu was designed to survive and prove that jiu-jitsu was the best and, and efficient like martial arts. Was to fight against other martial arts, was, was fight and prove that jiu-jitsu is very, it's the strongest martial art. Okay. Um, and topic related to to this right and uh there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a few there's a handful of probably schools <coughs> that like i know the valente brothers do this and bearing in they they teach the the self-defense kind of part and i think there's a lot of new generation that they don't have no ideas that even the points are based on good positions for a self-defense situation mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. do you think that some some people are th I think my generation that like it been I don't know people that have like six years and a little bit you know more of like black belt I think they were the last generation of having like jujitsu as both at the same time you know it was like you wanted to fight and know how to fight but it was a sport at the same time mm -hmm. and I think nowadays you think the new generation got too soft it's just bunch like bunch of little Pretty much like a bunch of little <laughs> pussies that fucking do jujitsu is too much of a sport. Like, for example, I don't see Musumasi being able to save his life in a bar fight. Yeah, I understand. You know, <laughs> right? You don't see Musumasi being like, oh, because back again, fight, not even yeah. aggressive. Like, like he doesn't. <clears throat> I don't think he he owns the skills of him being like. But I'll, if I need to double leg someone and I'll freaking have the courage and trust because the trust the jujitsu as in the self defense, you know, mm. it, he took so much as a sport. You think that's bad for for what's happening? Do you think that's happening? I think it was like uh, we are a product of the of the the jujitsu marketing. I think it, back in my time, the jujitsu marketing was like okay, so we have to establish as a martial art as a best martial art. So we training people, we don't care about tournament. We didn't have any competition. So we want to make sure that we have people enough to strong to make the foundations to go beat up people in the other martial arts. Yeah. <coughs> so I think like the evolution of the sports with the opportunities they open and then we became more sports, family yeah. environment, sport. We lose some kind of like this marketing. And the marketing nowadays, it's a very open market. You, yeah. you see people training jiu-jitsu for MMA, mm -hmm. which is a very, they, they, they use the jiu-jitsu so, skills that yeah. very uh, efficient as a self-defense, as a, as a street fight or whatever you want to call, but for MMA. Yeah. But you see the ma majority of people like taking the jiu-jitsu as a sport, then, it, then it's points and advantage. And I think like as the competitions put a lot of, uh, they drive, 
like the marketing they want to push. Once they start putting a lot of a lot of points, so people fighting for points. So when they start putting more advantage, people start okay, so easy to make advantage instead of points. So they start making advantage. And then they say, oh, now we have a penalties. So it's getting hard to make it to win the fight by advantage. They they find a way to find to to win by uh, like negative, you know. So pretty much like the generations drive where the sport is going to be, how efficient it's going to be. So it depends like uh, so much about media, confederation and so, you know. So the, if it depends on the media, <clears throat> so we fucked because Fro Grappling pretty much controls everything. That's one of my concerns. Yeah, that, that's why uh, we had this on the on the last podcast. It's like, they, they're they not fair to everybody. Like they promote a handful of people and they think Jiu-Jitsu runs around those people instead of being fair to people that deserve... You know, there, there, I understand there's the people that have media and they get attention and things like that. But in the end of the day, it's like you need to share everybody. If you promote the sport and you promote everybody, the, the people that are really good at jiu-jitsu, they're going to be good. Like, for example, they're promoting Dante Leon that he's going to fight, right? The whole entire week, there's <laughs> only one video of this kid that's like giving a guillotine to Isaac by and it's mm-hmm. like... I feel like writing, it's like, I wish I had a lot of followers because of this. I'll, I'll call them out and say, like, is that the only submission this kid has? Because that's the only video you guys promote. So he's like, they want to promote so much someone, then they forget there's other people, a lot other people in the sport, right? Mm-hmm. So then, like you always said this, it's like they promote a generation of Gordon Ryans that talk shit, but they don't understand that Gordon Ryan, he talks shit on the media, but he's actually a really respectful person that understands the sport and understands yeah. that he's only good at no gi. I agree. Right? Yeah. Uh, but I don't know what influence, like, some medias take yeah. sides, you know? I don't know if it, if it is if it's by the sponsors that put the pressure in those media because you have to be, you have to, yeah. hap- this happened before, back in my time. Back in my time, they have, like, just, like, one magazine was covering the competition and everybody wants to be there. And, of course, they was not showing everybody. They were showing, like, a few few guys, they didn't have opportunity to everybody. And my coach, Jacare, <clears throat> he was always say, look, if you have, if you want to be in that spot, if you want to be in this spot, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you have to win the championship. It's matter who you will, who you will challenge, who you will fight. Oh, right. And that was the reason that he was signing me up in different divisions to I go fight with the, what the media was showing. So whatever the media target, he was signing me up in that division to oh, fight okay. against those guys. Okay, that's why you fought so many different guys in different weight divisions. Yes, you know? and that's not it's, and they're not a different about today. So no, the no. media shows some of the guys because, but I don't know if they show this guy because the relationship they have or because they sponsor. Because uh, there are a lot of lobby about the sponsor. Yeah. I, if I put the money in the in your in your in your media in your magazine or in your in your social media, so I gonna be like I gonna be asking also to to give opportunity to some of my fighters or whatever I sponsor. So there are yeah. a lot of political be- beside that, and oh, okay. as a media they support. Like it's supposed to be fair. It's supposed to be create like push to the new, like what what for the new generation. Check, look into okay. So that's our whole model that we want to the fighters. So what what's the whole mm-hmm. model that the fighters will, we want to see in three years, years, in five years? Okay, let's push this perfume because you're gonna have more those guys. But if you give attention to those guys who talk more than than they make results. Do something, yeah. We're gonna have a lot of re- a, lo- a lot of people talking trash instead of a fight. If you give attention, if you put in the spotlight more people who give you results instead of talk, we're gonna have a lot of people showing results. Okay, yeah, because the, the, I I can understand for grappling those guys they wanted to push the and and it's good for the sport if they want to push more Americans and more people than non Brazilians right to for the sport because they wanted to grow. But at the same time, it's I understand how they like. They favored so much the Americans. Like, they're doing something amazing. But in the end of the day, for example, like Lovato, right? Like, he'd been a guy that he'd been fighting forever. And he won Mm -hmm. everything that you can win, Mm -hmm. you know? And they still, they don't give him attention that, like, some guys get the attention nowadays. Like, freaking, yeah, like, like. Like Keenan, he has a show on Fro Grappling. He's like a paying member of Fro Grappling. It's he like didn't, he didn't make one tour what Lovato the, 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 did. Yeah, the best thing he did is like he won Pan Ams, and that's like and he closed the division. Yeah, 
No, that's why, like I say, sometimes I don't know what drive the media give attention to some people and not to the others. Because honestly, we don't care about nationality. Come on. No. The only thing we care no. is about the flag that you stand, is checkmate no. or what yeah, team, team you yeah. are. So that way we flag. We don't care about like... Well, by only thing, we love Americans because the sport grew a lot after it came to America. <laughs> you know? So, you know? so we don't see that thing. The ones to see is like the challenge between teams and the fighters. So yeah. we, we, we actually, we don't care. But sounds like the media sometimes show that they want to see some different nationalities or if it just like push motivation by the sponsor. So I don't know. The only thing I know, like my concerns about the future because you want to see results. You want to see people. You want to see competition that really push this sport or, or make it, make athletes. Yeah. Make his performance by, you know, jumping them out like and giving them best. It, not right? like, yeah. you know, just talking, challenging, blah, blah, blah. And then yeah. they, 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 you don't see sometimes a good show. Yeah. And uh, one of the first things that I wrote down over here, and someone actually sent me this question is uh, it's, a, it's a future that we're having right now. It's a present and the future, right? That's the other closing of the gyms and this open and close and how people are taking care of the corona and, uh, What, what do you think on my opinion is like, what do you think it's going to be? It, and of course it's affecting everybody. It doesn't matter what team and what, what, where state you are mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, where, where your gym is. And, uh, uh, do you think the, we're going to get, you're going to see things like getting better for jujitsu because it's so personal. You think more people actually going to start, we're going to see more after everything gets a little bit back to normal and we're going to see more people coming in and things like that. For, for the you know i think it's something that it's happening right now something that we we never had it before so yeah. it's hard to predict but the thing is like jujitsu community and of course the athletes professor the whole people involved we have we in a martial arts they have been adapting for everything all the situation we adapt our sport to different rules that you can yeah. see There's no another sport that have a, such a different rules. We call we fight jujitsu, and you have a you ha, you have like more than 10 different organization calling yeah. the same name as jujitsu, yeah. which is you know totally wrong. Like it's supposed to have this. Uh, IBJF is supposed to be the one that rules like the 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 rules. Yeah. But anyway, so we have like but uh, we have a sport that uh, it's it's very like adaptive for every kind of. Uh, uh, rules. That's all, that's why we are so successful in from DCC to MMA and for right, everything else. Yeah. So I think that uh, we we gonna we learning how to make that change. Yeah. I think we learning how to use podcasts. We learning yeah. how to use social media. We learning how to force people to get you know to get uh, different ways to to figure out how to keep keep connected with their student to keep connected with his team yeah so of course there are a lot of side effects that it, it's happening yeah but like i think like we some of the school it's reporting a lot of new students instead of the, the old students back into the academy back, yeah so because like, i think a lot of people stayed at home and they're like getting they're like really seeing how much they missed to do something right so yeah but then the another side like go outside practice uh something like being jiu-jitsu help you mentally and physically because it just connect you for some kind of help you to release stress anxiety yeah. all this like in jiu-jitsu we we share so many so many of these like we have been like you know we always share like even like mm -hmm. like struggling like we talk it's very social yeah. it's very social martial arts at the yeah. same time like it's very It's very individual competition, so it's there are a lot of benefit to be in jujitsu, even those situations. That's why, I like, I keep my academy open because I have some students begging to say, "Now, if the academy was open, I don't know what my mind is gonna be. I don't know what they're gonna." Yeah, you people know. will create like normal already on the normal situation in the world. You can see like all the, all different kinds of people from different worlds, and you know, people that work in bank or office or you know, they're athletes, and they all come together to like stress relief right of mm -hmm. the jiu-jitsu because it's so mental that they need to focus they can't think about what they're doing in the outside of their life and think about someone attacking them and defense on the mats right so it's like so for you guys leo actually gonna launch a, a website that uh explain for a little bit more of, the, of your website that the idea that you like you said like you improved and you saw this this necessity for 
for jiu-jitsu, right? For to have the it's called BJJ aids, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So the thing is like I think when all this situation happened, one of my concern and I think for everybody was like and that's something that we learned so much with this situation, not just to take care about yourself, but uh, you learn how like taking care in orders, it's taking care about you. It's take care of you. Yeah. So like I was going behind like with all like hand sanitizing sold out, all like wipes and nothing. And I have the gym. I wanna my idea was the first was say, okay, like, how can I keep like products to save to my students? Because yeah. I wanna make sure when this situation is gone, I wanna make sure my students which healthy and yeah. ready to come back. So I was you know, like working hard to find and buy and buy in advance and stock and sell into this. But, and and that's the whole idea came from. So at the same time, like we came with the website because I want to give, because I believe that before we, we, we used to just thinking about like a skin infection, everybody's scary as stuff and ring wrong. But nowadays, like, you know, people, it's, it's still, Still scaring about like how close is social distance. Jiu Jitsu is keep you really close. So some gyms have showers, some gyms don't have. Mm-hmm. So I think the 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 hygiene and like the self care yeah. we're gonna change. And I think it, like I wanna be ready to give these educations to our community. And the and the reason we're like with BJJ because I want like our community to feel like care about the situation. Yeah. So that's why the whole process with, uh, you know, put like a lot of self-care with products that we training, usually we train yeah. from before, after training, something to prevent, everything oh, with this okay. situation. So we're gonna have like a not different brands okay. in, uh, as a partner. Like, and we- Like specific soaps and tapes and stuff like that. Exactly. Oh, okay. And also we're gonna have a, a blog which we're gonna have Marcus Bushesha. We're gonna have okay. uh, oh. uh, doctors, uh, sports doctors, and chiropractic, like talking about, like you know, weekly talking about like whatever they want to do, like over like to the sport, giving people the education that sometimes it's some information that we don't have. I just want to connect like the whole entire community and yeah. one website that it can have a lot of information. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's that's. That's nice. Because this was yeah, something that helped more, yeah. me when the dust... Yeah, because we, we don't have it, right? It's like something specific. Like you said, it's like sometimes people, they, they're they looking for something like, for example, the, the virus is going to stay for a long time. But like you said, like specific products, like cleaning products mm-hmm. and things like mm-hmm. that and tape and stuff. That's like, we don't have a website that you can go and get things small, even though it's like small little things like specific for jujitsu. you know? It's like, even though it's like after the, the virus is not the most important thing but still like ringworm staff all that kind of stuff you still need to clean yourself you still need to find all these products you know and yeah and you sometimes have that reputation about the lifestyle people like just like in the mat and so that is like this is give like the education that it doesn't have to be like that you know no yeah yeah, we need to (laughs) definitely yeah And, and it's weird because Back in the day, at least in Brazil, it's weird how like ringworm is an American thing because I, I trained a few years before we came to America and there was no ringworms. And some Things sc- are wrestling. Thing. Some school like a dog's running the mat, like, a, you know. Like. No, no, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, another thing about the future, right? That um, I, I told, I talked about it on on my show in the, the other day and like, uh, I don't know which one it was, but um, IBJJF is going to, they're trying to put heel hooks on no gi, right? And I think that's something really good because a lot of the no gi competition and the Americans love the no gi and they do all this, the the, the heel hooks and things like that. Um, besides that rule, do you think there's a few rules? Because when when you start it, right, and you're a juvenile, you could foot lock and you could do anything. <laughs> when when when. Yeah. Right, so it's like do you, you didn't foot lock because back in the time it was very bad reputation. So you so foot lock somebody, somebody was throwing shoes in the <laughs> shoes, water bottle, like give yourself a reputation that you're not going to come back to the sport. Then Comprido won the final, the open, exactly. and everybody's like, "Oh, this was the faster, was the faster submission for like for the the open division, yes, the open division." And Holeto was the big name. Yeah. So Comprido was the young kid. 
and then he used the footlock, and then how are you gonna go against the 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 person yeah. who win the open? Yeah, yeah, everybody can. was in shock. And then after that, <laughs> footlock <laughs> became good. like a popular. Uh, and because I remember like. Um, if, even like for example advantage right it was created because people were stalling so much and people would not like move mm -hmm. and things like that do you think the advantage at least on my view right like my point of view i think i think if jujitsu take the take the advantage out nowadays maybe it'll be a better than the, it's actually will help not have it's kind of weird because like i think it'll actually help not to people to stall because nothing yeah. happens and people will be scared of the referee decision then if there was advantage right because like you said it's like now kids they fight for advantage there's like a, there's a handful of people that fucking hate mm. on jiu-jitsu right yeah. because they fight they they gonna fight and they fight like i'll do one advantage then they stall the whole entire time because they super flexible and they have a really hard guard to pass then they sit on their ass and they're like well if you want to win you do your thing do you what do you think it's like it would be good for the future of jiu-jitsu as in what I want to get is like, uh, what's on your head that you competed so much and you have so many competitors of like high level competitors that, and you've always been known for like knowing the rules and how to use the strategy and what you need to do against one person. And even when you teach us, right? It's like, you always tell us like, hey, if you try to do this in some moments of the fight and, and, and you're a specialist on that, right? Like you're one of the, pretty much one of the best guys that can teach people how to do that on your head. Like use the rules to fight against someone, against a tournament and, and fix that on, you know, and it's like, w what's your view of like, what rules do you think it, it should be, it will be better for the future of the sport? Okay. Uh, before I say exactly the rules that I have, it's, it, people yeah. need to understand that's my perspective over going to different competitions. Yeah. And I believe that the comp the rules has to be something like uh, any device like iphone you have to be updating every every year because yeah. athletes we are very smart and our brain it's always find a way to we save energy we don't want to lose we want to win i want to win the most easy way to happen so i see this happen so much they get out the advantage and we have tournaments who does this the na bjj yeah the federation of yeah. america yeah, yeah, they still have they have a lot of jujitsu old rules which is doesn't have advantage. Yeah. They very happy and pretty good. Anyways, and and they're funny because when you watch fights over there, you see some some uh, issues that we have as a regular computer. It's an FGF that yeah. they don't have, but uh, oh. they're always different issues, right? Yeah. But the mentality of the athletes is it's always one thing. I have confidence enough to beat up my opponent. I'm yeah. gonna go 100. Okay. percent I have no confidence. I'm gonna find a way to stalk to stall him, to, 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 to hold. And I see this many times, you know? So I see this many times happening in our school when like the strategy behind, like, like a very a good example was like when it, when it back really back in the time when, uh, when uh, Frazato was, was like, we was the whole team together. Frazato was, yeah. he was fighting with Cobrinha. Okay. And, uh, and then we came with the strategy uh, you know, with the Mangers brother to do, okay, Frazato, you're gonna do 50-50 to stop Cobrinha's pass, you know, to stall it. And then you're gonna make him using the, the sweeps to get advantage, 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 and you win the fight. So, so it's a part of the strategy. And then, uh. and then it ha actually like it happened, so he did, but he mistake, and which you don't realize it because he didn't make like he didn't control the sleeves and then the end Cobrinha mm. footlock and he got at the yeah. the points yeah, of submission I don't yeah. remember exactly but the next year Hafa he got a black belt he fought game. with this and he he used and he used an over of his entire yeah, career. like yeah. Korea same like he using 50-50 as a you know pretty much fight it and get yeah. a lot of advantage before the competition realized you know, the person top was really stuck in the problem. Oh, okay. So, and that's when they say, okay, no, they start changing the rules. And I think that is important. So the, 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 whatever who has the power to change the, 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 the rules, they have to make adjust in, 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 in pro to fight, to, to find that, like what the direction they want to make. They have to make the directions to, 
like because today we know the the direction they want to make the the fights it's uh, respecting the the like self defense the street fights and making the mm -hmm. competitions goes to you know to yeah. score those points about control that you have but the advantage yes i think is a problem because you give it, beca it be actually beca beca became a problem became right? a problem yeah. exactly so my god my opinion my you know and i think it's it's a very change when i usually when i say it, people doesn't understand so much it's i would like to make a tournament that doesn't have taking downs not doesn't have but doesn't score taking downs yeah. doesn't score sweeps that only okay. only controls side mount back, back. And submission okay and hmm. like because uh you score with like you score just that and then because taking down it's just a consequence about you wants to be the dominant on top yeah. sweep or pass it just a consequence about you want to get close to the submission actually like a, if you if you doesn't if you if you if you know that it's so hard to pass somebody's guard and doesn't have sweep You're gonna be yeah. very aggressive as a footlock, kimuras, or guillotine yeah. because you will be not scaring to to start something and end in the bottom. So okay. a lot of the problem the rules nowadays, some people is very great on top. They want to put some action, but they don't want it because they're gonna take a risk and they're gonna give the point for the person at the bottom. Renatinho. Renatinho is yeah. a very why he's fighting so much in no gi, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, it's more easy for he put his game, he be aggressive on top. Yeah, and scramble to get in the, uh, on top again. But uh, like he's a, he's a, he's a, he's will be the the game that uh, you're gonna see most if you if you take it out the the like the the advantage Edge. or points for sweeps and taking downs because the people is gonna go to the submissions. Yeah, because the the kid that he fought on the and I told this on my show the kid freaking Lucas whatever his name is from Gracie Baja and uh, he 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 does that to everybody. He's like he stalls 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 and he's like barely does one advantage on the footlock and he's like keeps yeah. stalling because he's super flexible and he, do he doesn't want to fight right so that's a, like when i see it i was like man if they took the advantage that kid is done he needs to retire because either he needs to change the way he fights because it's a general like you said it's a generation thing because like if you think homolo baha right like at that time like for many many years he was like people him and brawley were like the guard players at the time you know and they're, they're famous to have the guard play And, but their guards are like aggressive looking for submission or no homolo like will sweep and try to pass and choke and things like that it wasn't like i'll sit on my ass not move kind of yeah those like yeah just lasso or warm guard and yeah. just stay still and waiting not aggressive yeah, du double pull and keep like into almost gets quite that freaking like that stupid ass kid too levi that he got disqualified and he like they show him crying like oh. i'm like how stupid are you that you're gonna you're gonna put yourself at risk of being disqualified on the first fight of the worlds instead of trying to pass guard yeah i see two solutions one like that's my i think that's the best take it out the taking downs and and like make it easy to yeah. even to judge and would be very aggressive to fight that one tournament they make this show like this they use these rules but it's no key so every fight is doesn't have time the fights oh usually the fights just hold for two minutes okay uh it's in new europe uh oh, no. this show but the other thing is uh or the other solution i see is like it's like a ufc if the fight's like a 50 50 or last or whatever like mm -hmm. the fight doesn't doesn't have the person top not yeah. moving S stop, person bottom not up. moving stop stand up fight again you know yeah. and make like sometimes like sometimes you yeah because what else they like they wait 40 seconds until like one penalty and then another penalty and then another you, penalty then it's like then the kid does see. one move and it's even like, oh. the super fight so I, i was watching those like super fight those last shows like you have a two big guys that you can see like they put a lot of show really good fights yeah. and they get stuck in the position because they scary to get tired or yeah. lose And they keep like the fight stalling for eight minutes. The last two minutes, they okay. Now, now it will fight. Then you're gonna see only like two minutes fighting instead of you know see yeah. the whole fight. Yeah, I think I think like you said, it's like I think IBJJF they 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 update the rules when it, something becomes a problem 
for the sport that's too big and there's like too many people complaining or it's an injury or things like that instead of looking how the quality of the fights are right like they don't yeah. base themselves like hmm, the sport it's like because because it's weird because like things like this right like 50 50 or the stalling or double pull and things like that there's some teams that are going to complain but if you think about it atos and not going to complain because freaking 80 percent of their small guys does mm-hmm. the same shit mm-hmm. you know so it's like then you have teams complaining and teams not complaining because there's always someone in the team that plays that game. Yes. So if the rule changes, you're gonna kill that guy. They're just gonna complain right? when like it's something that touches you that uh, that uh, it's take your strategy to win the fight. Yeah, like you when know? you lose a gold medal on the black belt, then you're like, oh, yeah, we need to change that rule. But and I think IBJF also they have the like the they carry the pressures to be like the. You know, to any change that does that impact so big in the community, I think that's why they're really careful with everything they change. But like, they need to understand that we have to understand also as a team. It's like, like we we have to look for the future. We have to see yeah. like uh, what kind of martial arts you want to wants to be, mm-hmm. what kind of athlete you you'll see in five years. Yeah. So you don't want to see people just double guard. No, you know, yeah. sitting up for. 10 minutes and then the fights is decided by who stand up first to yeah. get advantage but, you know but but do you think this is i don't know i was thinking the other day do you think this is going to change with time because it's like for example right like 50 50 double pool that kind of stuff it it became an era of half a mendes those guys they came in and they did that to win the fight and that kind of strategy and things like that but then at the same time you have now you have guys like they're changing right so it's like they're changing a little bit and for for example right like my hope on the sport right like Vitor Hugo and Roberto Jimenez right they're like they're new school kind of kids they're super young Mm -hmm. but they're raised old school at the same time Mm -hmm. right so like because they're new school because they're born now and they compete now they have different kinds of jiu-jitsu and they do like they they have all the games they have the 50 50 the building ball and things like that but at the same time they're really complete fighters right they have takedowns Vitor Hugo for a big guy like he pulls guard he plays close guard he plays lasso he does 50 50 he does foot locks he does all that kind of stuff you think those guys start being like someone to as a as a point of reference and people like and they start following the same way like people are like, oh my God, half is winning everything. I'm going to start doing 50-50 in beating ball. That's the only thing I know how to do it. You think that? I think it happened. I think like when when 50-50 was winning everything, I think yeah. people was more, was getting yeah, a Yeah, now you don't see it so much. Now though. you don't see as much as like Lapel or like as a, like as a, not a different, but yeah. now they mixing 50-50 50 50 with, with lapel, the Lapel. Uh-huh. So that's, yeah, they uh, open the guard, but they still stuck in the Lapel. Yeah. Fucking keen and yeah. nearly. So that, the good thing is like uh, we have those guys, yeah. which is like new generation influenced by the old schools. Yeah. So, but the thing is like, but, uh, and that's why like the federations, the tournaments, they have to, to have like a perfect or like a, a, a target to say, okay, that's the kind of game that we want to see and promote those athletes or not just promote the athletes, but promote this kind of, uh, fight style. Yeah. Because then if you know what, what style that he wants to promote, yeah. like you give penalty to the other. But if you make those guys losing, if you make those guys be frustrated when they put their game, when they bring the show, when they make all this, if you make those guys get yeah. penalized, penalized, penalty yeah. or losing, or those guys, they're going to play the same game that they're making winning. If, it, if, you make, if you promote, if you make the winners be the person who is stalling, they, those guys, they're going to yeah, stop you. Can, you, you can to, expect other things, right? So they're going to make what, whatever they do, they have to do to win. So you think, so you think IBJJF or the federations, whatever, they need to impose the rules into what exactly. it's like based in the w- in the in the in the game that they want yeah. to they like they target a yeah. game how, how nice of a fight they want you know it's exactly like, 
And that's what the judo did. And, and you know what? Judo, yeah. judo they, they changed, right? They Everything. changed their rules yeah. before because they was looking all the fights with a lot of influence about the about wrestling the, about and, the yeah. wrestling in Europe and like a lot of like a traditional yeah. Japanese or judo was losing fights exactly. because people was attacking so much legs. Okay. The fight was not. They didn't have any more like those ipon trolls, like the trolls. Yeah. And they say no, you cannot attack the leg. You can only grab the, the lapel for. Us. So they make a change to bring the fight to the same fight style that they want. They want. Okay. And I think sometimes missing like a, like a strong hands in the in the federations to say you know that's what we're gonna do because of what else like are we gonna do we're gonna adapt you yeah. know and actually like this is something that people wants to see the 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 athletes wants to be you know like and we're gonna adapt whatever like uh, they will do it like the same like they always change and they always we adapt. You yeah. know, but this is important because we're gonna promote one style and not promote like one situation. Yeah. It's taking too long sometimes to make the change, and then we have one stalling position, still making points and winning tournaments for a yeah. long time, and then you frustrate sometimes the people who really wants to fight. So, like I'm, I'm pretty like a like just like one one situation. If you bring for the gi, a uh, heel hooks with the gi for black belts, which is, it's not a problem because you see ADCC, a lot of black belts fighting, they don't have like big injuries. You know, like, yeah. do, you know, as a black belt, you know when you, how, how long that, that you can be. Yeah. If you have a heel hooks, you're never gonna see 50-50 no. or no. lapel or lapel because you're not gonna put your ankle no. over there. Oh, no. yeah. It's like, so you're gonna make the fight be more aggressive. So you, yeah. so it just depends how much like the the rules wants to push what kind of style, and if you make a mistake, it's fine. You change yeah, next you year. It, Keep yeah. up updating the updating the system. Like yeah. that's that's no problem. Like, a, 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 as an athlete, as an, an as a fighter that that competes, you you have to freaking adapt to the rules, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, one of the things that I hate the most is when people go to a tournament and they're like done, and they're like, "Ah, oh, this rule sucks. Ah, oh, fucking rules," and I'm like. Dude, you signed up for the tournament. It's not that it was like, you know, you came in and they're like, hey, what's up? What the rules? Mm, it's a surprise. You're only going to know after the fight or during the fight. No, it's like, yeah. don't complain about the rules. It's yeah. like, I used to be one like this. You know, I used to be very first with, with a referee decision, with this or with that, because yeah. I say, man, you know, like, but then I, I start like, yeah, but we already know that's the thing. Like, yeah. if the rules, it's a, it's a goes to the decision over like a referee. So you have to referee be the decide. And that's why I, I don't think it's fair. Yeah, I think that's why I think like when you when you not score the side control, but you score passing. So the referee, you know, he can decide if the side control was a pass or if the side control was just a side control. You know, doesn't have you, you. You score actually, you don't score a situation. Okay. So that's something that I think that if it change, because you have to take the power. I believe that you have to take the power of the referees right. to make decision. Okay. Because every referee is connected to a team. Yeah. There are a lot of politics behind the teams, yeah. behind friendship, well, you, behind you, like, even if they like you, right? Yeah. So the the fight has to be decided by the fighter. Yeah, he need to know winning and lose. You mm -hmm. know. And sometimes the rules make a lot of change because we have a make a lot of complicated, uh, complicated because we have points and yeah. then we have a, if you if you, the points was was equal and yeah. then you have to it'll go to penalties penalties the same yeah. and then you go to to then then it's the referee no. opinion yeah you like go to advantage whatever he wants advantage the same you go to the penalties yeah. like just just make a, a decisions like. A, Basically, like they can be decided by the fighter. The fighter will decide, decide who yeah. win, who lose. He gonna be known like uh, yeah. right away if he win or he lose. But if wanna make it, the referee make decisions when everything the rules that give you uh, interpretation, you're gonna have a three referees can be three different perspective. Yeah. You know, de decision. You're gonna have a thousand twenty like you're gonna have yeah, a thousand people watching. No, Everybody gonna yeah. have their own. And yeah. they have. And the funny, they they all have the right to think it that way. Yeah. So yeah, it's like it's, it's, it's his vision. It's like his opinion, right? Like your opinion is never wrong. And and the funny, like we have, like we we have knowledge. We have as example from other uh, martial arts that we yeah. can go and see what they change, and we can use that thing to make that change. change. Okay. You know, to to make the the, the rules very simple and and, and efficient. To to yeah, not I think that's a problem too. It's like I think that. IBGF it's scared of there too right it's like they're scared of the 
the rules getting more and more rules it gets more and more complicated so it gets like more and more details instead of setting simpler rules less rules yeah. and just like you said it's like yeah that's but, that's but, the only because yeah. now it's like penalties advantage <clears throat> almost advantage you can put your foot here no you can't put your foot here on this situation then it's so many little gaps instead of just being like hey just yeah. the, the 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 more simple it is kill yourself but, see what happens yeah but in the history we see a rules that be changing just adding adding adding, adding nothing adding taking stuff, off not right taking like, yeah. off. exactly Cre create a new, a new situation every single yeah. time with the and rules. then you have like you have a three different score for each uh athlete yeah. because point advantage and penalty yeah. just make like one thing whatever you, if you do wrong give yeah. a positive to the uh, other uh, so like make a, one po a point be a guy. lot of points so that but that's what people like yeah. special americans yeah. like that's what like football uh yeah. basketball all the sport like because three hundred thousand rules right? a lot a lot a, and a lot of points a lot of yeah. points so you're gonna make people like you're gonna make the fighters oh, win okay. by positive points now by okay so what why he win oh he win because the negative it almost, points it's so bad like he, you win he, by the negative because the yeah. other guy make a mistake you yeah, win made a mistake yeah like freaking like for example right like palito from our team like the, two years ago last year he he lost the fight against levi the stupid ass kid that sits on his ass the whole entire time uh because he pulled guard in the wrong way and he didn't have a grip right and it's like what's the difference that's what, like, w one rule that's like, like, man, if the guy wants to pull guard, let him pull guard. And my complaint was not just this. My complaint is, like, because uh, in the other in the other match, like, yeah. we had a lot of fights. So yeah. people make the same thing and didn't get Nothing a penalty. Yeah. Renato have the same thing. Renato yeah. pull guard, he got one penalty. penalty. And then, like, but you watch so much the other guys pull guard, so the referee have the power to make to make that, that choice. Yeah. And that's the bad. Because... The rules, so many little rules yeah, exactly. that, that so the rules say if you stand up if you walk outside yeah. the referee can make the interpretation if i step back i run outside so many little details that but the, also that that the referee can yeah. interpret it one way they, and the other way or they right? also if you push me you get penalty. Yeah. so the referee have decision he can Not, make the yeah, interpretation man. that he wants uh -huh. and that's bad so. you know if you say yeah. oh ever like if you just say okay look who step outside you out uh, you penalty yeah. Like that, freaking wrestling, right? It's like exactly, you push out one exactly. point to the guy. But then they, they sometimes they scare. Oh, but then would be a lot of like wrestling about fighting, like a sumo, pushing, pushing. I don't care. Like no, if the you don't want to get, around. Yeah, yeah, make like if you if you if you're just stepping back over yeah. three, like if you step back too much, you, that you, yeah, can, you can that mean that you lose into the fight. You get negative because yeah. you have to go forward. Pull guard, take him down, but don't go outside. Yeah, like uh, give it away. Uh, on that subject, do you, do you think because you fought so many ADCCs, right? And and like I said, like you and I, I heard this from a long time ago from you. Even when uh, some some other guys from different teams were in the team, and you're like, "Hey, ADCC, if you know the rules, it's a big deal, right?" Mm -hmm. And even when you taught us, and it's like, "Hey, um, it, it it can you can build the whole strategy of who you're gonna fight, what kind of game you're gonna do." And you play on that and you can see, use the five minutes to see what the guy does and see where your position fits on that person. Or maybe if you're good at takedowns, you pull guard and you run down the clock and you, on the last seconds, you let the guy sweep mm -hmm. you or do mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know. Do you think ADCC still needs to change the rules because people, or it's a, it's a little bit of a harder sport or federation that to people to pick up the rules, or it's still, it lost some of the, the beauty of the the old ADCC. I think like it's a competition every two years. I think it's nice, but at the same yeah. time, you don't have so much confidence to referee judge yeah. and also like the fighters to fight, uh, compete. So they they they're always like they never really know or sure about what they're doing. The athletes, mm. you know, as a rule. So they they're very like the, it's a lot of business, but they have a lot of interpretations too. Yeah. And then you have so many, like uh, like referees at the same time, and they, and they they and make decisions. It's, the the end, they, they it's not the referee; decision. it's the table that gives the points. And yes, so the referee, the center referee, he can say something, but the the, the yeah, rules run the, the tournament at the table. So whatever the table score, and sometimes like you and the, but what but when you fight your visual. Yeah, it's the, this referee. Okay, whatever he say, you follow him. So might as well just not have that guy in the middle. Would be better and just sit everybody on the table. Yeah, 
or or just make a, or just that connection between the guy in the in the middle with the mm-hmm. table should be very awkward. Oh, so okay. you if you know that uh, you need the three warning to get a penalty, yeah. if the the guys in the in, the the referee just give yeah. one penalty or maybe two you know they mm-hmm. still have one more yeah. you're not sure but you know as a rule you still have one more you know and this sometimes get a lot of problems yeah. even with taking down sometimes what is taken down what is not, not a taking down, down. Yeah. how many you know? seconds and so things like that the rules always that that a lot of it's not really clear the same like it's hard sometimes oh. but they they can they can make it clear they yeah. just that sometimes doesn't want to make it clear and then they can have they can do, make it choose they can do, do, do you make do you think they don't make it clear because they have the impression of if the fighters don't know what's happening they will just go for the they they will go for the submission no no but i think that's that's wrong because it, like the way the rules yeah. are half time no points yeah half times Points. points so you watch a lot of most of the fight half time people just doesn't want to fight they want to save energy yeah. and they and they just fight half time so they make half half time it's just like boring you yeah. know so just like and, that's the whole, it. Just and they never change the rule. just like make the change that i can make push again make the athletes give it their, their best yeah. you know so and because it's a pretty good show yeah, you know everybody that a very good reputation yeah you know and and just like and and i think the rule is it's it's good i don't think the the rule is it's bad i think oh. the rule is it's good i just the think rules. the way they judge the way that you have like a seven i don't know even how, how many referees they have how many referees behind yeah, some the table have a bunch and, some and then the way it and depends they, how the how good the fight is and they and the reason like they make decisions and they over over the personal over the person so they can make decision Uh, and 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 like you can say anything you know and then like then the referee this the the main referee that i have no power then you feel like sometimes you can feel really lost yeah you know? yeah it, it's kind of weird because it's i don't know uh, it's weird because the referees it's always the same but at the same time they make mistakes that you don't expect someone to be doing for so long the same event to make the same mistakes like for ibjjf for example the really good old people that have been for a long time with the Federation, they'll f- do the finals because they have more experience on the rules. So the more experience you have, the less mistakes you're probably going to make, right? But ADCC, it's like, sometimes like, well, for, for for example, like the fight against Bushesh, it's like the, the center referee was kind of lost on what was happening. So the guy on the table saying stuff and he didn't say something and it's like, a mis like you said like miscommunication that that yeah. turned the fight around right? yeah you know? i don't think they lost i think i, th- I think that he was he was just give like a one or two penalty he didn't make the penalty the, the, ref, the table make the decision before they they make it the table make this decision over the main referee so i don't think that he was lost i think he was following the rules he was just like uh did he have the power that as a main referee and the people who score the table score because they just decided they have power to do it, you know? So, but like I say, like, uh, it's a inter- it's very interesting. Uh, I think it's a very good uh, competition. It's, and I have a, like, I have a very, you know, like yeah. Abu Dhabi, I have a lot of very story, a lot uh-huh. of stories behind. So we have, I have been fighting science at 2000. That was my first. My last one as a in the in the fight, I think it's 2011, mm-hmm. no, 13, 13, and then I fought the super fight because somebody. So, but yeah. I, I I like so much. I respect. I have a you know, but you know, I, I just I just just know that I and I know I feel it from all the tournaments. Then I see so many things happen. A lot of politics behind the behind the referees. Perfect. A lot of like people they wants to be more. Like, you know, like sometimes they're using the rules to, they, they can, and that's the point. Like if the rules goes to the athletes, so the referee, we're going to be just scoring whatever, what, whatever they know, yeah. you know? So make the, make, make, make the, the, the simple, like also like 20 minutes for the final sometimes. Like it's. And nobody's going to fight 20 minutes. Yeah. It's too long because it doesn't matter how good those guys are. So longer fight, everybody's scary to get lost. So they're going to be like you know spend, stalling yeah for, you, maybe yeah. used to be nice back in the time like yeah. 20 it was years a challenge, ago right? like, it was 20 years ago yeah. what that was like 
when everything was nice, like people wants to see that thing longer. Yeah. Now people don't appreciate it anymore. People yeah. want to see something dynamic. People yeah. want to see something fast. And they and, and the athletes will be more confident to say, okay, five minutes, I go five. Yeah. I don't know I'm gonna get a title in five minutes. But 20 minutes plus 10 plus 10, oh, maybe I'm gonna get tired. Yeah, you know, you do like. Three, I make the longest. Like the longest, right? A lot like of, 50 minutes. You know, funny. Something? Yeah, a lot of rules was yeah. changing because of you. by myself. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, they, he, like, they was like slam, like, no, then they cannot slam without this. Oh, the longest fight, we made Honey Aya. Yeah. We did yeah. it like in the final, 2005. 50, right? 50 minutes, 20 minutes plus three overtime. And I asked, I said, hey, how many, how many, how many overtimes you're gonna have? Yeah. The referee said, oh, uh, as much as we need. When he <laughs> said that, I knew the fight was not about, was, wasn't, we knew, yeah. I knew that the fight, we already fought 20 minutes. Yeah. He said that, I said, okay. So the fight's not gonna be by conditional, but it'll be mentally. Mental. Yeah. Then, but I, I learned a lot. That, that day I told, Comprido was my question, I said, Comprido, we have to build a strategy that mentally we broke the opponent because uh, we both are tired. Yeah. But mentally, the strongest mentally we win. Mm. So I will I will fight five minutes, one speed, five in another speed, and then I come back. Next round, I'm gonna fight. Now we're gonna fight three minutes, three minutes, and three, three minutes. minutes. Oh, now I'm gonna be two, three, two, three. So I will find the strategy behind the whole ten Take minutes, three. how to how to show that uh, like. You know, like to get break mentally my opponent, and that's funny because both were super tired. But after 50 minutes, when I score my first point, yeah, man, I, I don't know what happened. That a magic behind because when I score the points, when I saw the, you know, the the flipping card and like <laughs> moving, show me the points, and then I remember I think it was like a two minutes left, and I don't know how coming. <sighs> Then I, yeah. man, I was like, I was trying to submit. I was like, rawr, going so fast. I don't know where that came from. You know, that's why yeah. it's like the fight is so mentally. Mental, mental, mental. It's so yeah. mentally. Yeah, you because mentally you can push your body way more than than anything, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and talking about ADCC, if you, if we always think about like ADCC. You always have the prestige because. Like you said, like 20 years ago, they would give $10,000. And man, 20 years ago, $10,000. I bought my apartment. Exactly. And I was right. a wedding, my wife, yeah, yeah. My apartment. <laughs> that was for, that's yeah. why, because I did see really? Yeah. My family and, and now And now you do super fights on backyard. Oh, yeah. They're, you know, the same you thing. You make more pay-per-view. Yeah. Yeah. You make more on the pay-per-view. You know, and it's like, do you think we're going to get to the point that and I don't, I don't know if the, your opinion too is like if you think that's good for the sport or no, having a lot of super fights and people making money out of super fights because then the athletes can focus on being athletes, and pretty much just IBJJF worlds would be like, oh yeah, he won the worlds. Do you think it would be better for the sport, or you think it would be better if IBJJF start giving money to every single possible tournament that they can have? Mm, I see. I see that uh, that uh, a lot of like I see super fights. I see tournaments, and then sometimes like when we say with Abu Dhabi. So what do you see behind? Like you see a lot of people. Like what's the what's the the reward? You know, yeah. like behind behind be a world champion. So it's more is prestige. Yeah. You know, so Abu Dhabi for in the, back in the time, like. The, in the beginning, the money was the attractive because I didn't have a prestige. It was just yeah. like a tournament, but this tournament was paying a lot of money. $10,000 20 years ago yeah, man, it's a lot. was a lot of money. Not beside this, but that a magic when you go there. And that's how I remind, that's what making me feel in love with this show was uh, because uh, we f we was going to Abu Dhabi. That's the first thing. Yeah, 20 we years go, ago, man, no yeah. one will go to Abu Dhabi. Yeah, right? you, uh, we was going to Abu Dhabi. They put in us a nice, the nicest hotel. You go to your room. You have a book talking yeah. about the, the about the about the the martial arts about yeah. ADCC, and you have your own picture. You have your own picture in your bio, so you feel you feel like uh, special, special. And then when you compete over there, they was competing. You have like even when they are, they have like some local T-shirt. There was local sponsor. Yeah. There was more, uh, more how good you go, and they'll give hey you have to give it. I didn't understand English back at that time, but I just <laughs> remember they give me 
white t-shirt and I was represent one one team and then yeah. later they give me the another t-shirt that was represent another team I don't know if they was trading sell, selling me yeah. between them I don't know what yeah. happened if they had <laughs> bad money or whatever I guess but the prestige to go over there represent yeah. fight and make their money was nice yeah. and then like during the fight after fight they put everybody in the boat who was going to different location yeah. restaurant these are the way they was carrying us was super, super nice fine, yeah. and then went to Brazil was the same thing it was very nice California was amazing mm-hmm. after California I think New York that right? one yeah. was a yeah New Jersey no, no. Uh, uh where they no 2007 they, went New York right yeah well the guy yeah like uh, Hawk Balboa Philadelphia uh, Philadelphia yeah that was that one everything was going down yeah. because then we, when you go to the competition was more like tournament than not people yeah. was putting the backstage like with a match to warm up before yeah. they was giving you like a nice place for you go for to warm up yourself to warm up mm-hmm. was a, a lot of prestige behind compete in yeah. china oh my god a lot yeah, of once pe- once you went to china you know it's you know gonna, like you know. they happen like uh China, like I have been traveling so much to China. That are really nice. It's a really nice place. A lot of a lot of interest, like a, a lot of opportunities. Yeah. But a lot of people, the Jiu Jitsu, they get burned with it. China. They don't want to go to China because oh. they have a they have a bad experience oh, okay. in China. So there are a lot of prestige behind Abu Dhabi. It's special because they have been so it's long. Mm-hmm. So, but you know, there are there are like, a, but a, they maybe like the money. Maybe the prestige was yeah. losing, and then now, like you get people get invited, and they're not even appreciated. Yeah, they don't, they don't even care. Right? Yeah, so. but that's what that's one of the reasons I, I talked to Mo, right? Because Mo just seen this like taking care of the tournaments and everything, and the other actually girls, it was amazing. The last one, was yeah, no, nice. yeah, it was pretty nice, definitely. Because he loves, because he has, because he has the same love, yeah, because yeah, because he has the same love that 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 you have for the tournament you know and he wants to really take care of it and the next one's supposed to be even more amazing but i told him it's like hey mo it's like i I want your opinion on this right i told him it's like man you should do the trials one on every country or like on on every region invite more people because then you have to do like really put up and you have really good fighters and i told him like hey and he's like oh but then the trials will have too many people i was like yeah but then you do like back in the day, like you send a resume to to an email of of uh, of the event, and you choose who you're gonna put on, on on the on the trials. So because even man, if you if you see the trials in Brazil, mm-hmm. Marcelo Garcia, if you think about it, it's one of the amazing fighter from ADCC. You know, he's a, has one of the best records. He lost the trials. Yeah. He got invited actually because Daniel Moraes got hurt. So he got like three weeks before, two weeks before he got called out. And Mo was like, yeah, but he never won the trials. I was like, exactly. That's how good the trials were. Jacare had to do the trials. Roger Gracie was a, had to do the trials. Everybody had to do the trials. You know, so like, or either you need to do the trials. There was something amazing for you to be at the trials already. So I think if the trials are super hard just to get in, it makes the I think, my opinion, that it, it would give even more prestige to the ADCC because it's something that's untouchable. Like, you have to put a lot of fighting hours and yeah. you can't be like a blue belt and be like, yeah, I did the trials. Then you have like, you know, you have some guys that like, they have an easy trial, then it's like, they go and they qualify and then it's like... Yeah, I think they... Then it mess up the bracket when it comes to freaking because then you have like... Two guys that are super easy from coming from one from Asia and the other one from like I don't know where and then you know I think lose that lose a lot of the prestige when we start making the the competition was like invitation became trials was, because open up mm-hmm. opportunities to everyone fight because now they say okay if I win they have to put me in yeah so before this was just invited just invited yeah. so and you don't know what you have to do to get invited you just don't you just know that you have to be the the best in your like you have to you have to take yeah. their attention and was the matchmakers was invite you to go over there did he mm-hmm. doesn't matter like they, they know you don't know what they was watching you know you have the reputation because of the invite when they open up like a lot of trials people was, was more easy to get in because now okay now i know how to fight this tournament yeah so i and then I win, I need to win the I win the I need win, to win, win the, the trials. trials. Yeah. 
So, but before, like when they get invited, you have to fight in everything. You have to be in shape. You have to be like, a, you know, doing everything to and uh, like to and sign up to yeah. and say, hey, I'm here, I'm here, you know. But mm -hmm. you you didn't know. And and the thing that was good because and nowadays like we have a lot of teams. And there are sometimes like you have two, three guys that are in the same, same. team. Yeah, well, and sometimes yeah, you have a friends that are in the like same that. bracket. Yeah. So, as a, if you put the show in the in the in the, the if you put the show in the the hands of the matchmakers. Yeah. If you make the invi by invitation, yeah. it's easy for you control those kind of fights. It usually, would be more easy for you control how good will be the fights, the fights yeah. how the quality you're gonna bring, and you're gonna give a reputation, because, uh, prestige back because of people like. But uh, if you make that, if you make like three, four trials in those four trials, same somebody, the people who win is the guys from the same team. Now you have four guys in the same year. Yeah. Even if you put it they, for the fight, the first or second fight, like you already like screw the the brackets because uh, he already went to the to the to the to this uh, like the yeah. final. Like like the and, like 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 the lightweight guys. W there's three guys from two guys on the same team. Like the six to six, it's like Atos had three guys, Alliance had three guys, and it's like, like you said, it's like if yeah, they have and, only one from one team, it doesn't the, matter. And the like, like it doesn't matter, like if they will fight. So they, yeah. like, sometimes they, say, oh, we will fight, but the fight will be boring because uh, yeah. they, they, sometimes they know their game, and it's like, yeah, and that, they don't put the, they don't put that emotion behind. Yeah, they they will fight, but the fight will be like, you know, yeah. but they don't be like. A, trying to yeah. kill each other, yeah. you know? So I think this is something that I, I, I will consider as a yeah. organizer because uh, yeah. it's bringing back the prestige and making it hard to be invited, making it hard to yeah. participate. So just- Just for you to get to the trials, it's already like something that you need to put, like you said, it's like a reputation to be in the trials, yeah. to see if you deserve to win. Because then if you win the trials, it's okay. You know, because there's way too, I think there's way too many guys. Nowadays, there's way too many good guys doing no gi and things like that, that they'll be hard to like not let one kid come in and another kid comes in. You understand? For like, for example, there's that kid from Texas. I forgot his name. He's he got a weird last name from, uh, from Brukutu, right? The, the purple belt kid, the blonde kid, not Cody, but, um, Talk it. Talk it. Yeah. Uh, man, it's like he's super good, no gi. Mm -hmm. Right? But then if you think about it, it's like he's super good. He's an upcoming kid, but he's not good enough to be invited, you know? Mm -hmm. But he's a kid that's like, hey, he's a purple belt, brown belt, but he deserves to have the chance to go big names, mm -hmm. you know, on a trial. So he'll be a kid that'll be like, yeah, that kid deserves if he sends his resume, right? But then you have another. Then they're like, oh, but then you have blue belt kids. I'm like, no, nah, for a blue belt, you're not that good. You know, there's something wrong. If there's something wrong with the sport, if I'm sorry, if there's someone that's doing it for two years and he's a blue belt and he's beating people that are brown belt and black belts, even no gi, you understand? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, they don't. I don't think they deserve to have even a chance. And like you said, it's like, no, you have a chance. Keep going, keep working. So I think you force fighters to. Uh, one to it's like the Olympics, mm -hmm. right? Because that's how I see ADCC. It's pretty much the Olympics of the grappling mm -hmm. world. You know, people want to get it. Yeah. And the more impossible it is, the more people want to freaking like, like you said, it's like people do and they will, tr they will try the best to even have that. Yeah. Chance and also to be. regarding to you find the best grappling in the world, you don't have to be looking like nationalities. Yeah. And that's, I think the trials open so much nationalities and make sometimes yeah. opportunities to people like, it's okay if I will have somebody fighting from that country, but sometimes yeah. that guy would be just like, yeah. it, ju it just to have like a different country. Yeah. I don't think this- like, it, like Asia, there's- oh. You oh. know, like that, like if you, you can make like, a, it's, it's, it's pretty like, a, you can make a, crazy bracket if you just put like guys there who really commit yeah. me to fight you know mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if they're brazilian if they're american if they were if they want nationality of half is the same nationality who cares like because you at the end of the day you wants to get a big show you wants to make a show you wants to give yeah. you know and the make the, like like back in the day like if you if you think about it, it's like there's there's not that many fights that were like oh my god this is like one of the best fights ever on adcc but then you, but back in the day, where 
You yeah. have a few like that. And sometimes, like I can, I have been this conversation with some of the people. They say, yeah, but back in the time, did they have so many good athletes as a, as a represent the same thing as before as today? What I understand? I say maybe yes, but like, but nowadays also they have a lot of friends that are, they didn't yeah. fight each other because they have like sometimes like a, you know, but a, in those shows they will fight and also like find a way to like because uh, money is very good. You know, yeah. so they will fight for money. It's a, it's a good, good, good motivation. It's a good motivation. But if you make this something that doesn't change, it's not a money, but sometimes a, another benefits as a, yeah. like a, a, if you find a way how to reward, recognize that person who wins yeah. with the prestige that he cannot change, he cannot give it to the other person. person. Yeah. Then, like, yeah. then, then he's not going to open it. Yeah, he's not going to open money, it for the other. Because money, even if you're friends, you can just be like, oh, we can share the money if you win or give you a percentage. And the person like, oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. if you, let's say, if you if you win the tournament, this give you the ability for you be like traveling over these trials yeah. as a, like a, as a, like a, a the main guy getting money yeah. for make a speech talking about yeah. uh, the competition uh -huh. in those countries to help you you be the ambassador of this this sport, sport for one right. year for one year you are, you as a yeah. king you're gonna be traveling getting money traveling the first like give mm -hmm. it a lifestyle yeah. so because if you will fight maybe you can share the money you can but if if you wish if you let me win. Yeah. So I won't be the next year traveling, making the money, having the lifestyle mm -hmm. that everybody dreams. So, so you think? Do you think the 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 super fight winner has more of that that status than the open division guy? Because the open division is pretty much like, ah, oh, you can qualify for that guy. That's like the like like a video game, like the final boss of the mm -hmm. of the fight. You know, it's like in two years we see you against that guy. You know, I think they they see like a. The, The money wise, like it's one fight, you're gonna make like, more money. You're gonna then, make yeah. more money, and then once you're over there, like you, you're the king. Yeah, yeah. Huh. and then you have another another fight for the next year. Oh, so okay. you, you so you guarantee you guarantee the chance of making good money. Yeah, but let's say if you make if you make all the like you have a six even seven seven eighty eight yeah. nine nine you have like a four or five division. Let's make you if you have make this five person be the ambassadors of the year. Okay, so those guys would be. Like traveling the world, spreading, spreading the ADCC rules, rules, explain, promoting the show. Mm -hmm. When they have the trials, when they have those speech or whatever, like but give those guys a lifestyle that nobody will have. Yeah, and then yeah, but then we need to to the to the sheik to give the the, the organization of the the tournament to Mo, you know? Because yeah. I think I think Mo Mo will definitely be, be yeah. because then the money because the money. We be just like some because the money can be something that we share. Yeah. So we like and I I I I fought before, you know, like with yeah. some athletes and they say, hey, like how much the first place make ten thousand, second yeah. place five thousand. Let's make a deal. So like we put all together, seventy thirty percent or what? Let's find, but we fight mm -hmm. like uh, let's fight. But if that if if they have agreement. And then the person say, and if the person and the, and the person says, oh, you know, like we're not gonna fight. Like, you can win. Just give me, give me the money, the percentage, yeah, or whatever. Like, but it, the prestige to be the ambassador, yeah, the lifestyle that now you're gonna have back, so you cannot give to the to others. Know, yeah. So you have to be it will be it will be personal so, to you and very individual. So right now, beside the 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 ten thousand, so you're gonna be the one that are calling ambassador. For yeah. one year, you have those like yeah, but it, it, but, but even if you think camps, of, whatever, like but a, if you think about it, it's like even IBJJF, right? It's like you win, but then you're like, good job, and that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, but no, but Abu Dhabi they did this. Well, that was pretty good because when yeah. they they make the jiu jitsu over there, there was not interest. Like people, the local was looking jiu jitsu. Oh, I don't mm, want whatever. It. Oh, yeah. but it, it's you have to do. Oh, okay. well, how they change was their reputation behind. If you win tournaments, you, that, you're that, gonna that, go to shake yeah, the yeah, hands. Yeah. You're gonna shake, shake. You're yeah. gonna shake the shake the, hands. Shake hands. Right? So it's like the king of the country. And like, then the family will say, "Oh my God! Like my son, yeah. if you win the tournament, yeah. you get a prestige to go meet the shake." Yeah. And this is still like a, a, a it's still a prestige yeah, for them. Yeah. They imagine like if those guys who win the tournament. They get a trip to go ambassador to go make those camps to go to meet, like give a prestige. Then people yeah. like the money would be just like okay, Whatever. good. Yeah. But the prestige behind people will fight. They're gonna give the best for the prestige. prestige. Yeah. 
Yeah, to call themselves the best, right? A BJF. Instead like of I just would, not we fighting, pay calling money, we, the we best. pay money to win, like, the awards. Why? Yeah. It, they don't, like, now they start selling, but it's still, like, a B. Now they're giving money, yeah. but they, they wasn't still, giving money. Yeah. But uh, why? Because the prestige to to go to say, hey, I I, did, I won. I yeah. won, you know? Yeah, so, but that, but yeah, but now everybody. It, it, the, the whole thing about IBJJF, I think it's like everybody, every anyone. It's the only sport in the world that anyone can compete. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you walk at the door. If someone walks tomorrow at your gym next year, he can compete in the worlds, and he can tell people like, "Yeah, I can. I'm gonna fight the world championship." And it's like what? Because I I remember when. Not that long ago, like when when I was a blue belt, you had to qualify. You have to win this. You have to podium at the state tournament or the nationals to be able to to fight the world for Brazilians. Yeah, not for, for the no. Yeah, for the Gringos. Yeah, because the people. <clears throat> if you make the, well, but then it's fair. If you make the trip at that time to fucking Brazil and put yourself in Rio <laughs> <laughs> as a Gringo to fight a tournament, man, you deserve to fight. You, you know, <laughs> yeah, you deserve it. If you survive the few days <laughs> walking around, <laughs> you win. If you still commit, me because of a lot yeah. of entertainment, like as a yeah, you if know, you, like yeah, you if walk, you walk, yeah, see, if you walk in the beach, yeah, in the Taro, you know, you're fucking lost. <laughs> <laughs> if you're still able to, no, I want to compete. Oh, you yeah, you stay. If you still focus, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, but I don't know. But I understand. Like now, they're giving money. But again, like the, I think the worlds still have a little bit of a like a little bit more. In the end, it ended up being a little bit more prestige. Yes, that's definitely. You know, yeah. because it's like, but like you said, it's like Abu Dhabi. You needed to have more prestige. It was weird because it's like Abu Dhabi for you to win Abu Dhabi was something like, oh shit. You know, now it's like, yeah, it's still with like super good, but I don't think people value that much because uh, I don't know. I think because because I, it's small little I things. Think the organization, going the organization that IBJJF, they they make a very good job in keep their yeah. reputation and keep the prestige of the be a world champion. They have yeah. a big change, making the change and 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 make, keeping like and it and it's a crazy hard tournament. Yeah. It's easy to win super fight. It's yeah. it's it's hard to be. It's like uh, people say, oh. You beat Bushesh in super fight, it's, it's okay, it's yeah. easy. I want to see you fight against him in the world champion. In the world. So you step in the pyramid, you just the adrenaline to yeah. be on the mat. So that it's day, different. Right? So it's totally different scenario. Yeah. So the prestige behind it and the IBJJF, the world. So IBJF, they, 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 making, they have been taking care of years to make sure. Even like they don't pay, yeah. but they're a prestige. They're yeah, a, there's, they're I, a, I think there's more, I think there's more like seminars and things like that behind it too, right? Yeah, but like as, as so, our So people community, see like a little bit more see, of like We see, and, we see that thing too also. We see, yeah. that's something that we, we train in Jiu-Jitsu. If you start competing, you're dreaming to step in the pyramid. So you're dreaming to be a world champion. And, and you, th- you think it what helps too, it's because... If you think about it, well, there's 22 years or something uh, at Worlds. You think it's because there's only not that many. There's always like people that repeat how many times they win the Worlds or at the Open Division. So it's like, you know, for like from the beginning, like Amari won twice. Then, you know, like things that Amari won once or, you know, somebody came and won once. But everybody won two or three times. You know, there's a handful of people that always you know, it not it was never like always a different guy every year. It was always like you know a dominance for even if it was like one or three years or something. You know, mm-hmm. and then there's like mm-hmm. now Bushesha, like I don't know how many years. Yeah, he and changed so, the whole scenario. Yeah, he he, he, he gave up. People were just like, yeah, fuck this changed, shit. He changed the whole thing. Even the like yeah. make people quit. Quit. To try, like, yeah, the oh, there's a bunch of, yeah. You yeah. can see you can see the first few years that he was fighting, and he was like a bunch of people would be like, yeah, I'm gonna take my chance. And I yeah, saw one, I remember one year under that came, I was like, oh, let me see it. And he's and like, Bouchesha Rodolfo's name was on it. And he was like, nah, take my name off, man. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I can fight one, two of those guys? Nah. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, it's like it's bad, yeah. like, yeah. You know. But, you know, but, uh, yeah, with this prestige, I think, like, but in all our sports, Jiu-Jitsu, yeah. it's like, uh, definitely, we don't fight for money. No. We fight just to prove oh, yeah. that, definitely that, 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 that we, we, like, the, we want to, you want to like call yourself the best, right? Yeah, and also like as a team, we yeah. fight for our team. Oh, like, we yeah. put like, and that's what the point I think yeah. that are like, a, you see like the crowd, you see your team, like, there are a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, 
like mentally and emotional like uh, share mm-hmm. during the, sure, okay. d- during the competition like dreaming the- and how hard it is because first like it's super hard to be a black belt it's super hard to be uh, somebody that like a black belt to compete in the level mm-hmm. as a world champion mm-hmm. the commitment behind At it's like have to- you have to give up for a lot of things for something, something that you're not gonna make money, just gonna yeah. give you the med, gonna give you the power to call yourself a world champion. It's gonna open opportunities, and then you have to be very smart with the opportunities that open for you. But doesn't guarantee success. Doesn't guarantee yeah, anything no. if you don't know how to use that. No. Yeah. Do you think the another subject, and actually this, this fits perfect on the begin on that on that. First, so I can ask you this question: Is uh, do you think the the future of the sport as in there's like this new generation and people offering opportunities as in hey come we give you training house over here we have other people in brazil that like there's someone with the big money that you know feedback and it's like hey we give you training a place to live some money mm-hmm. we find you a sponsor and things like that you think it's like is it possible to bjj jiu-jitsu be come like soccer the teams will be buying people and things like that or do you like you said there's it needs to because because there's too much of a like the time and the sweat and the blood that you give to people and the knowledge of you know the the team situation will be more strong than the money or you think it, if it gets to the point that there's a lot of money people are just gonna be like fuck that 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 team is buying me for this year yeah I think like uh, my my generation, and I, I don't think I'm gonna see this professional as a sport, okay. you know, because uh, I think to go to this like uh, power for as a team, you be buying so much athletes, you buying this like like we can buy athletes, yeah. so you can you it's not not that, but uh, like well, the power that as a, as a team you have to like uh, to to keep those athletes or to make like it not just like get that money but uh, i think like brands mm-hmm. or like to be professional as a soccer is something that it's a different step the sponsor that they have okay. the the power that they have as a, as a brand to sell the team sells a lot oh, okay. regarding to make a contract but some, a lot a lot of the athletes that would be we have a lot of like a professional athletes with yeah. lower belts okay. so they give like a, the team it's not just as a black belt no. so it's like you have and sometimes who win the tournaments it's mm-hmm. not a black belt it's the it's the your base your yeah. base blue and purple belt so with tournaments score they score and point as a team so regarding regard like this situation you have to like for you by athletes you also have to consider that if you don't provide if you don't provide this So those guys, they're gonna go away, mm-hmm. or or they go to whatever the team offer. Okay. So there are a lot of stuff that I see that can change. So when I first, when the first uh, happened, like with the break with the alliance and teams, yeah. I was I was I was in the, uh, the college, uh-huh. and then I offered this to the college because in Brazil they have kind of scholarship for the athletes, usually uh-huh. athletes, and yeah. I offered this to my sponsor. I said, hey. I went to my yeah. college and say, "Hey, you already gave me the scholarship. Let me. I want to make a a, a, team. a team that the name would be the the the, the, name the, of the, the, the college. Yeah. So the idea is bring those guys, and I will train all those athletes. The commitment would be like you build this because they uh-huh. have the power to influence and to score. And mm-hmm. people, you you're gonna yeah. pay for a scholarship, but they have the power to make this yeah. show. And Maybe gonna encourage other college to do the same. So the college is gonna okay. So okay. So this yeah, we'll this college get Leo as a time. coach. I'm yeah. gonna get you know Fabio Gugel. I'm gonna get uh, those guys to be the coach. I'm gonna start get making the athletes. Yeah. So but didn't work. So I went to the my one of my sponsor back at the time. I said, hey, yeah. I don't want to open another team. I wanna be, I wanna be the like the uh, the sponsor. So I want you build the team, and I'm gonna be the coach for your team. So you have the money. You already. You already sponsored athletes, so you sponsor a coach, sponsor the athletes, yeah, let's yeah. build something. We're well, gonna change the scenario so much if you if that if mm. that happened, because maybe yeah. you're gonna encourage all the brands to, to, to start have, doing the same to thing. Start and do the same thing. And yeah. they have the power as a brand 
to pay for. Yeah, they already have sponsors anyways. Might as well just create exactly. a team. And, and then what they're going to have is gar- results. Gar- guarantee better results, yes. right? Because then it's results. The problem, yeah. like when you go to this scenario, like let's say if a brand, Shuro, is going to say, hey, yeah. Leo, you're going to be the coach of Shuro. I'm going to build the team. Everybody who is sponsored going to train you under your, yeah. your, 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 you know, supervision. Yeah. So I'll be, but if I don't give the results, they're going to kick me out. Yeah. They're going to get another one, mm-hmm. you know? But the jiu-jitsu, the way we build, like we, as a team, we care so much of the person. Yeah. Results or not results, we care. Yeah. And that's the that's one thing that checkmat. We're not looking to buy athletes. We're yeah. not looking to this trade because we care the whole story. We care when mm-hmm. he's a white belt. We care yeah. when he's a coach. We care when he's athlete, coach, and we care when he's open his gym. So it's a long life and, and, and commitment for us. Yeah. So the team who does this, they see you as a result. They buy you, you come here. Yeah, if you give a result, so fine. You don't good. give it. Yeah. Cut out. Yeah. Per, per, yeah. Personally, I see that on the. Um, and I see this so many times. I saw yeah. some athletes AUG that was from my team. Yeah. Some kids was from my yeah. team. They get opportunity. They move to yeah. another team, and they and they yeah. and they stop. They start. They they stop to do results. The, the, results. Guy, the yeah, coach they, was not yeah. even his it, coach it, anymore. Yeah. Even 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 to the side. Yeah. yeah. That, that kid, uh, Mateos, that's from AOJ. He used to be from Checkman. Yeah. When he was a blue belt and him and Tainan were like doing super well and winning everything, man, they were like, oh yeah. Even then the first year as a purple belt, they started doing okay. Then they started losing and Tainan was still going, like still having better results. But then once my tails started like getting yeah, like it, not, not so many results, it was just like, you can see like he was like put to the side and a new kid came up and because like he was just like like he's like it could be a phase it could be the belt maybe he was not doing so well the purple belt but but the eyes you have to see like what's make that kid as a as a as a juvenile what does he make him win it's his ability it's his jujitsu or it's because it's his physically because he's physically now in in juvenile it's fine but one day adults the physically would be the same thing. And then yeah. mentally. And how much you even train, right? Because like, like how many kids have their lifestyle and you have them, like a, only train you, the you have day. the perfect you have the perfect example with a Jonathan. Yeah. You know, uh uh you know like you have the perfect like a Nenego. Yeah, and, yeah. and the same same year. Nenego the first co- competition Nenego fought with these guys, Popo Belt. Yeah, but he lost. He yeah. he lost for everybody. Yeah. And then he, oh, he, I, I told him, I say, go to the open class. He was asking me, Leo, what should I do? I say, I want you to do your best. I now don't want to make the strategy. So he did his best, he lose. So when he back to the academy, I say, okay, now you have been trying whatever you try and you lose. Now you have to, now you have to trust me yeah. because now I'm the only, I'm, I'm, I'm the now one. Now responsible. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, now you're going to listen to me. So now I'm going to tell, now you're going to tell what I do. And then. In the next tournament was like a couple Completely weeks later. Yeah. I say, hey, I want you to fight that way. So he beat one kid. He beat two kids. And then he lost for Tainan. Yeah. And the next tournament, so they they save Tainan to don't fight in the yeah, open yeah, class yeah, anymore. Remember, yeah. And that was like a sorry. That was a, like a yeah. mistake. Because they don't want you, some young athlete, purple belt, to lose. lose. And this mentally is hard because you put the pressure on so much in those athletes. Yeah. And then they, and then when they fight in the in the in the awards, in the tournaments, so and then and then they go, and they go win the yeah. fight, you know, and then like a, but then they go was even the other guys then they was like, you know, but yeah, how, what they sometimes what like some coach don't understand. You're not just you know you have you you have to choose like the atlas basically so much for his for his mind yeah you know how he manages like his mentally you know the way he think mm-hmm. how his manager emotional the way he's he's like deal with like a social his emotional yeah. winning and lose those make a good athletes like if, if because if you look even if Bushish and we do in some interview back in the time like I was I would interview him. The way he was talking, you can see like uh, there's some clicks and it's like winning and lose. There are that's some part of was emotional that you have to handle handle those things be, regarding to be a, the best athlete to be, to performance because yeah. your mentally it's it's really strong. It's really important. Yeah, yeah. If you if you save the athlete, it gets because the conditional yeah. they will train. Yeah, they'll train. 
tactic and yeah. training, you're gonna you're gonna you, become the with the tactical and training as a coach. But mentally and emotional, like yeah. they have it's something they have to get in like in their voice and learning do by himself. On this mental part, right, and the physical part, there's a question I wanna make. It's uh do you think it the drilling or just like like drilling as in they do repetitions of positions and positions and positions? But then there's kids that only base themselves on that and they never do like real life training. And when it comes to a fight, they're like, try the position and one thing fails and they're like all lost. You think it's better to drill or specific training? Like you try to do the position, the guy just reacts however he wants. You think he has more to gain than just the muscle memory of the drilling, drilling, drilling? I think muscle memory is important and yeah. depend on what what the cycle, what's the 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 this week you are from the tournament, oh, okay. right? Because uh, you have to 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 build. You have what once you go to the competition, you have to figure like what what are the the perf- close to the performance you are. You have to divide these in the weeks this, and yeah. the training. Sometimes you have to training like the muscle memories, yeah. but you have to put it are more close to the tournament. You have to start making like, a, you know, have simulations yeah. because you're going to have to spy and frustrations uh-huh. and like uh, you'll be part of the, of the life, you know, for when you fight and you have to be ready to those situations. Huh. Do you think Bushish is the most talent guy that you ever trained? As in like, he, cause how I see it and you know, uh, he has too many good things like if he's a video little video game he'll be that guy that you you see the little graphics and everything is good right it's like he's strong fast explosion <laughs> positions yeah, man, super it, truthful, yeah you know, super truthful. Super exactly truthful. He'll be, yeah yeah exactly he he'll be that you know he'll be the like the best guy that you can get you know <laughs> he'll be like the 99 super card from fifa kind of player you know and um but at the same time, he's a super talent guy, as in he's super coachable, right? Yeah, and but that's the point. Like that's like, and that's my challenge to to make his uh, blueprint. Yeah, because we want to build more bushesias. So oh. what build bushesia? Like it not like it not just like the way he listens to you mm-hmm. and the training, the commitment, yeah. but it's like the way he does this. It's a response. It's like it was like. What well, he experienced their life. Mm-hmm. So if you can blueprint his lifestyle, yeah. since I was, he was a teenager, how yeah. the sport was introduced to him, how mm-hmm. the sport was the first competition, yeah. how he was dealing with this, we can we can we can do more bushesias. Yeah. That's why that I be talked to him. Hey, we need we need yeah. we need to study on mind. We need to study yeah. because come on, the best guy they were have in the sport, he win couple of times he make he he make like a three three times world uh championship yeah. in the open class yeah, uh-huh. division but uh one year not no other and then one no, he like lost in many if, years if, if you think about it like his, came, his percentage it's horrible like, you came in you changed yeah. the whole scenario he's yeah. very coachable he's very trained like a, he doesn't kill himself training no. he's yeah. very smart the way he trains yeah. you know he but he's very coachable at the same time yeah. which is but, but, you, which but, is you, nice. but, but you think because again, it's like like you said, it's like if you ha- can have a blueprint, but it, it he's he's one of those guys that's like Michael Jordan, Kelly Slater, and those guys. You know, it's like Pele. It's one of one in every a hundred years or so. That's like one of the most flawless guys. There's too many good things ahead of his time in a lot of things. You know, and it's. Do you think the hardest ta- hardest part of of a fighter will be being a coachable you think that will help like how much the guy trust you know because this new if, this if, is if, super if, important. If, yeah if you if you think about it like this new new generation right like how i see even on the gym right there's a few guys there like they they do stuff and they and you and sometimes some someone correct them and they're like Neh, whatever you know it's like I, I call it like the google generation right because <laughs> well because if you think about it like back in the day if i have anything that i want to know I had to ask my dad. Yeah. Right? Okay. You did the same thing. It's like, if you want to know something, you'd be like, hey, dad, why is this? Hey, what is that? You know? Now, you ask your dad, and it's like, he give you the answer. He's like, I don't know. 
And you're Maybe like, he's gonna Google. Oh yeah, or he's or he's gonna go like <laughs> Google it, you know. <laughs> then they go and they, so they don't have that trust on someone mm-hmm. of an elder or someone that has more experience. Mm-hmm. And you think kids are getting a little bit more arrogant and they they need to be a little bit more humble, as in yeah, the sport like you said, it's like there's kids like Nenegu and those guys they're like purple belts, brown belts that the media already know them and they have that hope for them. You know, and they get sponsors and things mm-hmm. like that. And and that makes them think they're like too high of themselves. Mm-hmm. And like Nenegu and like kids like Bushesha that had the loss and lost a bunch of times mm-hmm. that helps or the losing and being the humble, like the, the society humble them or like you, what do you think it's like this Google generation is like they're they think it's like, oh, I can just YouTube. Oh, yeah, I, I know how to do this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, you think the, the you, so you, you, these, you yeah. think the handful of people that really will, will do really well at the sport will be the ones that are humble by nature and they are really good and coachable kids? I think they, I think some, most of like the athletes, they, they, they forget so much of their, the principle of the martial arts, the one that we have in my back here in my academy, yeah. you know, the seven code of the Bushido. Yeah. So even like there was the samurai code, still like was the what builders concept. So yeah. when I was when I was a student, so there nothing that I, it's the loyalty was not just loyalty to my team, but the yeah. loyalty to you know as to do for yourself, loyalty to do something for your, you to respect, you know, the, what yeah. you have to do. So like respect, everything starts uh-huh. with respect. Martial arts, start with respect. Yeah. If the coach say, you agree. Yeah. So if you don't, if you cannot trust what he say, mm-hmm. it's the first the fundamental that was break. So okay. you already break this fundamental about loyalty, about respect, yeah. you know, honor. So honor, it's like your it's your reputation. So in the in the end, like I was a kid that was looking in the end of the, my life, I want to look back and I want to feel honor. I don't I don't wanna scratch my honor through my so a lot of stuff that I was doing that I knew it that was wrong. That I knew mm-hmm. it that sometimes I would lose the fight. Yeah. But I was doing because it was the agreement that was that I was following rules of my coach because mm-hmm. I didn't want to disrespect it. Mm-hmm. So a lot of situation that I was I was getting the situation sometimes as a black belt com- in the competition mm-hmm. that my 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 coach was making decision that I, even sometimes I think was wrong, but I I did, you know. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. But even when I lose with that decision, so like bring us like to have a conversation yeah. to build more loyalty uh-huh. and, and 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 boundaries to get even like more. Uh, powerful together to think for the next strategy strategy. for the next fight so nowadays like those codes here just like blah 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 people like i see this so many times and like i don't know if it was because uh like the students became more spoiled and like and the the professors became more soft like soft I don't know. I don't know if it was like the the all the whole scenario with the internet, the website changed a lot of the way that you can get information. And then uh, like you see people now that they even they, doesn't yeah, go to the doctor because uh, they go and they think they yeah. they they can so, put prescription something to themselves. Yeah, they don't think they need a coach, right? So yeah, and and like, but the thing is like maybe you don't need a coach, mm-hmm. but you're gonna be by yourself, you mm-hmm. know. But uh, when you strong and loyalty to somebody else will be two against one yeah. when you step when you step in the mat to compete and then you and you compete against the other one if you align in your code you'll be two against one yeah if you if you do something that you not if you if the trust it doesn't have that trust you don't have that loyalty yeah. if you don't that that respect you're gonna be yourself fighting your strategy yeah. without in somebody or all, all that just yelling whatever mm-hmm. like because you're not connected yeah so, and what's built this? It's not just jumping from one team to another team. Yeah. What built this respect, honor, mm-hmm. loyalty, like compassion. It's uh, day by day on the mat. Yeah. Yeah. It's like going through all this competition. Some like a frustrate, something not. 
-hmm. Something will succeed, something will be lose. But yeah. this is gonna this is gonna build like the relationship, the trust that one one day you're gonna step on the mat to be two, two stepping yeah. against one. Yeah. But nowadays, unfortunately, you see a lot of this happen, but not with Bushesh. That's yeah. the point. Like that's what you they sometimes like maybe people will blame maybe people will say oh he's strong he's yeah. he's does this he's a yeah but but he's very teachable yeah. he's a he's a he's, he's a very yeah. he's a he's he's one of the new generation he's, that have all the old like, like uh, old codes, school, yeah. old, old codes like yeah. a samurai codes that are that are yeah. very you know yeah you you don't see them i think that that's and i think a lot of that is just because things like that, you know, there's like teams that offer something else and kids think they're entitled to, hey, I was a juvenile, I want everything, you know, and it's like, no, there's there's a long way to for the sport. And I'll, I don't think all the, I, I, I'm glad the media pick, you know, try to pump up like kids like that, you know, and they're young and everything, but Man, this is like it, it, at the same time, it's bad for the sport because these kids think too much of themselves, you know. They, they and they think it's like I'm so good. Yeah. People know who I am, and it's like no, you don't know shit. You know, it's no, like there's a I long fucking that. way to to, understand, like, to be media. someone. You know, it's <laughs> like well, because like the other time, like fucking pro grappling, right? It's like it it, it it sucks because it's like they they promote a lot, and that's good to have a big strong media for the sport. But at the same time, they're like, they do some stuff that's like so fucking stupid. Like, they're promoting this kid from AOJ and it's like he's a juvenile or a blue belt. And they're like, the f it's not that like it was a question if the kid was going to be the future or not. They're putting words like, this kid is the future. It's like, he's a fucking blue belt juvenile. The kid did not a even taste a, the whole yeah. thing is this the most basic thing in life. The kid's probably 14 or whatever. He's been training because he has a lot of money. So he's training a lot. Of course, he's going to beat all the juveniles that have a normal life. Mm -hmm. Plus, the kid never had sex before. <laughs> They have right there. <laughs> It, it's real, right? It's yeah. like there's a lot on your head until you taste. The, something the, different the, something different you know <laughs> <laughs> it's like and it, it and you don't know and it's like but, and they're in the media pumps this kid up so it's like then you built this hope for this kid yeah i can understand but at the same time it's like re it's gonna be really hard for this kid to be humble when he's 14 and people are thinking like the the mainstream media the, the only fucking stream media that we have it's like telling that he's the future but at the same time then if he starts losing then he's gonna fucking crash and burn because then he's gonna be like fuck you know because there's a lot of pressure on mm -hmm. his head but at the same time it's like it, it's their fault it's like is this kid the future maybe promote the kid it's like oh look how talented this kid is you know and, but yeah I agree and I think like it's a pretty long and tough journey to be a black belt yeah a lot of stuff will happen in the, in the, in the so, way man. you know So, like, when I I was, like, Purple Belt, yeah. I even did it decide that I was, Jushitsu was my, mm -hmm. that was something that I yeah. did to my life. Like, the reason I made the college, I went to college, mm -hmm. was because I was getting ready to another, do another thing. I not yeah, just want to be just Jushitsu because I, I don't know what the Jiu-Jitsu will be. And, like, it's a long journey to be a Black Belt. I think I agree with the, when, when they want to do some something You know, mm -hmm. like promote like a new generation color belts. That's yeah. fine, but don't bring those people too much. Right? Like to I don't same level. Oh, no, no, yeah, because our black belt had had the same thing, and they yeah. to be a black belt, like they spot that, uh -huh. that some black belt the people are yeah. today. First, they have to get a pretty serious commitment until get a black belt. Yeah, they change their life. Then, right? They're not just climbing the mountain. Now they have to be on top of the mountain competing, mm -hmm. and that's why you can see so many, so many of those guys. I say yeah. they have a really tough and great journey, and they got a black belt and they quit because yeah. it's easy quit and be just a promise that you really just open a gym open, and, and just and, open and, a gym and fucking and then really be it. the champion that people was expecting to yeah. be. You know. Yeah, we've seen we've seen so many times. It's weird because it's like if you think about it, like Liera was like that. Johnny Gripo was like that. You know, Rand Hall was like that. 
they were the the next big thing. It's like this is the best kid ever. It's gonna be the next good thing. Bill Cooper, you know, all those guys, and it's like now they all like stop fighting because they fail like one two world championship as a black belt that they fought they didn't got the result that they had and it was like and people don't see Bushesha it's like like you said it's like the first 10 tournaments he fought as a blue belt or white belt or something like that he he got lost in the first fight and his source is a black yeah. belt the first year as a black belt he lost like <laughs> five or six fights or something like that and there's no, something there's click. a there's a handful of people over there to post videos in freaking internet and be like a bit Bushesha before you know and then it's like but I think, like you said, I think that what made him. But that's what the people sometimes not realize, because because what define you? It's not your what you right now. Yeah. Right now, it's just your status that you right now. Mm -hmm. What's defining you? It's like how how like how many times that you can stand up, how many mm -hmm. times you can fight, yeah. how how much that you can handle and control yeah. and and fight for. So, like, you know, like give it the status as a high level black belt for mm -hmm. the young guys a lower belt it's giving them the status that uh, like put it there over the pressure that they, they don't know how to handle that thing. no yeah and then most of them sometimes they'll quit because they're not emotional and mentally yeah. pre prepared sometimes mm -hmm. they're gonna give them that pressure that they want to prove and then they yeah. get a serious injuries and then they cannot hit that perform make, yeah. perform anymore oh, even, they, it, they get and, and sometimes just the day you're not on your day or someone has a better game than you and so make it make something uh -huh. special for blue purple brown yeah. belt but black belt man black yeah. belt the guys who compete the guys who win tournaments right now yeah, black who, li belt, who lives out of, out of jiu-jitsu deserve they, more respect right it's like, yeah it's like you like you you cannot put those guys in this they cannot sit in the same table to like yeah, have a no, lunch fuck yeah, no, yeah I, think, I think that's a fucking problem too the good thing about checkmate is this it's like I can tell it's like even the, the they say it's like only the gringos and the Americans are like no man we still we're kind of racist for other color belts <laughs> it's like that's the best way to describe it it's like pictures no you guys go over there we stay over here in our group and I think that I think that makes them like want to achieve and be on the same, you know, as as people like that. They're like they they. It's we. It's funny because like now they have their own little group, and you can see them like all the purple belts at worlds. You know, it's like you have all the blue belts and purple belts and brown belts all together, mm -hmm. and you have the black belts over here. And it's like, but they all have the little. Oh, okay, they know their place, right? So even if like we all cheer from them and we all want them to get better and things like that, they still know that's like, it's one thing being a black belt. It's another thing. I'm not. I'm not there yet. Right, I think that's that's one thing about good about checkmates like that, and even like we have our own chat on you know the the old school black belts have their own chat on the uh, on the WhatsApp, and we make like team decisions like you come and you be like, hey, what's up with this, you know? And I don't know, a couple of months ago, like you want to add someone, and we were like, nope, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> we're like, nah. He can wait a little bit more. <laughs> Still not old school yet. <laughs> For it to be, you know. So I think that that makes them like we 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 value that, you know. From yeah, I think it's important. Like like you you even like if the society committee doesn't appreciate that doesn't yeah. give that power. Like you have as a team or as a family structure. It's like. It's like my son tell me what I have to do in my house. Yeah. It's like sometimes, or, or, or my or my kids tell me what I, no, like doesn't matter how much like you can be smart. Sometimes, look, my father, he never, he, he didn't went to school. Yeah. So when I was like in fifth, like three or fourth grade, I already know more than my father. Yeah. But I never went to my father and said that I was smart over him. Because yeah. smart will not just count two plus two. But uh, he, Life experience, he yeah. teach me, yes, exactly. So it doesn't matter how belt you are, how many champions you have with your, mm -hmm. your blue belt. Yeah. Somebody has the black belt. Hey, baby, just yeah. to be a black belt, hey, I've been yeah. suffering more, more than you had. Oh, yeah. You know, like sometimes you joke, like it, one day I was like coaching, like the phone, like you always say, like the coach, like the guy, the kid, the, the kid from, well, uh, after he told me, yeah. oh, like the guy have the guillotine strong, put your head over there. I said, yeah, man, I, put, put, it was like, what are you I, talking about? I put my head in more, hate that more, kid. more, I put my head in guillotine more than he probably, he put he gave, on his fucking you know, life. like putting the gear. But Piece the thing is, yeah. but the thing is like, 
the respect and the like the appreciation and, the, and like the things like you know show so much about like how it's gonna be your future too you know so the thing like we miss we miss like a uh, the reason like uh, people miss it was because like sometimes like and like sometimes it wants to you wants to you wants to you wants to blame the new generation when you know yeah. like the fault is not the new generation it's, it's our a teacher, it's right? yes because we became soft and they're not gonna say oh this generation this generation who's teaching this generation yeah. was you was me yeah so if they doing this it's because uh -huh. we was yeah. who was missing or you know yeah, people are getting too much of like a business <laughs> mind and they don't want to be like hard on it yeah well, so, so this is what like you can't understand that's the, but that's the fun part about our team it's like people making fun of you and it's like man, <laughs> they, Shiku, you know, man. Shiku. like Shiku. they yeah. they happy because i can see what happened what they write yeah. but i'm gonna be watching later how you yeah. you, you're saving the the, the I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, yeah i'm gonna save that one yeah. because they're gonna be watching who, who was the yeah, joke Shiku, they're gonna do Shiku. <laughs> Shiku for sure <laughs> but but yeah but it makes sense you know it's like this new people are thinking you know, like they once they moved to America, they, a lot of people got to the like business mentality. You know, so it's like the students can do whatever they want because they're scared of losing the student. And it's like, man, if the person comes to do a martial art, he understands there's rules that you can follow. And sometimes they even like it. You know, it's like, oh, I'm on oh, my dojo. You can't do this on the dojo. Oh, there's this is the rule. You know. And nowadays, it's like you go you go places that people like. Anyone walks in, they don't bow, they don't shake anyone's hand. You know, they just sit down. They're just like, "Hey, what's up?" We understand. And now, no shaking hands. We understand. Yeah, during COVID, yeah. During, during COVID, COVID. It's okay. <laughs> but <laughs> you have to host. You have to shake. Yeah, hand. you know. But it's like, man. No, they, yeah, yeah. yeah, I totally agree. It's like, like it's the basics. If 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 you keep the the, it's a sport and it's a business. But at the same time, it's like it's a martial art. The person that walked in and signed up, he signed up for martial art. And there's rules like any place else. It doesn't matter. The guy's not going to quit your gym because he has to bow to walk in, has to shake all the black belt's hands. He needs to respect the higher belt. Man, I, I remember. That's, that's how you teach all the respect, honor. Exactly, like, yeah. How, how you expect respect yeah. when you doesn't show respect. Yeah. Like I'm fucking. Sometimes but, but like you know, a you know professor was the first one to did respect himself yeah. just to have students. Sometimes he's the one that and then mm -hmm. he doesn't he never show loyalty yeah. and then he wants to loyalty for his students. Yeah. He doesn't show no, fucking Keenan no, Cornelius. No it's respect, the most and they want to respect yeah. for the student. They they have no compassion. And fucking. then he like in those situations, oh I need compassion for like Man, come on. Need shit. Like <laughs> fucking Keenan, he's gonna learn in fucking life because he's like he thinks everybody, like, he uses everybody. He thinks, like, he's the best thing ever. I want to see him, like, fucking explain to his students that in our gym, Legion, it's American Jiu-Jitsu, but you're going to fight on a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu International <laughs> Federation. <laughs> <laughs> what? What about the American Jiu-Jitsu Federation? Oh, yeah, no. But the sport's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, yeah. But we are American Jiu-Jitsu. So it's like, and he's a, he's a fucking... See, this is the, the why the, the the back in the day the challenge that you guys had. You know, it's like, oh, I hate that guy. Okay, let's set up one day. Keenum would not be fucking talking so much yet. You know, fucking hate that kid. I don't know. Fucking, no, those I don't know, I don't know if I most of those right guys they're never gonna Peace even like uh, show up for this meeting. Yeah, but but I think uh, but I think Keenum's gonna learn, and because the way he was raised, right? Like he came to Hawaii from a school, then he went to Lord Irvin. That back in the day, he used to bring a bunch of people over and over again to stay a month and teach in his gym. Then he went to Atos Day. He got in and he was just like a bunch of guys from a bunch of different places that no one that was actually a black belt from the beginning in the school. Right? So on his head, he never had that that thing that you're saying, the, the loyalty, the honor your teacher and things like that. He was just a bunch of training partners and he was just using people. Mm -hmm. but how I see it's like you said now it's like he's gonna feel in his skin one day that he's gonna raise a kid from blue belt and one day the kid's gonna be like fuck you you suck I'm <laughs> I'm leaving you know then I wanna see him being like oh it's okay he's doing what's best for him you know after like seven years coaching the kid and fucking doing whatever he can for the kid then he's gonna feel like oh shit that's what I did to people huh that kinda suck yeah like you know, like that's something that I like that when we build checkmate, like we are not a team that it's built by one academy, one yeah. school, one professor. 
we are a lot of independent schools, yeah. professors that have the the free will, mm -hmm. and we respect it. Yeah. So everything starts with respect. So every school decides to be together because we together we make a big network that we help each other, divine, develop athletes, develop develop opportunities for everybody to have a nice lifestyle during Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. So we want to, we're not gonna go nowhere. We want to be in the community of Jiu Jitsu, but there are a lot mm -hmm. of like, you know, bad things that are yeah. in this community. So we want to just make sure that the community we build, uh -huh. it's like a ecosystem that works for us. We can enjoy yeah. the lifestyle, our family, our kids, uh -huh. and and we still have like a, the big outlets, the best yeah. outlet in the world. Yeah. So that's just something that I, that I, mm -hmm. I in the beginning I never taught, yeah. you know, but my gut and my 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 vision was like to build something that I can trust in my in the port in the people, you yeah. know, and then and then I think like uh, what we have been doing it's very it's very it's very good because of the way it is like it's in the end of the day like it's uh, we have a lot of jokes we have even like as a family like we have our disagreement. But everybody is still in the for the in this with the same vision in the same. Yeah. We, we all agree with the with mm. the same principles, yeah. right? Like you said, it's like you you give you always gave us the freedom of, hey, if you want to train somewhere there, if you want someone in your gym, it's like yeah, whatever. Yeah, we don't yeah, own like, people. Like yeah, it's like man, this mentality okay, to yeah. own people. Come on, yeah. like yeah. yeah know, but the, but but again, you still have we still have the principles of, you know, the the like you said, it's like the. The Bushido, you know, it's like there's still the, those principles are still respect for everybody, you know, and it's not something that you force down anyone's throat or with the way we were raised, you know. It's but it, just, in natural goals, too, the like the way that uh, that uh, we take care of my students, my yeah. students taking care of their students when they build. So it's yeah. natural. This process, it's mm -hmm. natural. So you give, you give, and you you give what you have inside. Yeah. You cannot give. Yeah. you know you, you're you, like compassion if you don't have compassion yeah and of course like there's there's some teams that i was disagree with us that they'd be open their own team think. because yeah. um we have a different vision they was yeah. like there was they, they cannot give loyalty if you don't have loyalty no yeah fuck no yeah. Yeah. well well we're almost on two hours uh thank you very much to sitting with us and with me it would be like party or, 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 but there are yeah. so much stuff to so say, stuff to say. <laughs> Uh, thank you for sitting and uh, talking to us and giving your view on the sports and rules and the future of the sport. And we're definitely going to have you back. Um, thank you guys for the live and listening and uh, subscribe, like, share. Thank you. And uh, see you guys ne next week.